Welcome everybody, um, this is Marinus from Harbour IT. Today we are going to do a quick uh, Geekbench test on my MacBook Pro with Retina display. Um, I've got the Intel Core i5 uh, dual core with 8GB of memory and the 128GB SSD. Um, and I'm just going to show you where you can download Geekbench from and how to install it and how to run your CPU benchmark. Um, the first thing you'll have to do is open up Safari and type in Geekbench and go to Geekbench 4 and then download Geekbench. I'm not going to download Geekbench as I've done this um, already but I will put the download link in the description below. Um, so after Geekbench has been downloaded, you can close your browser, then you can install Geekbench, where you simply run the DMG uh, file, and then simply drag and drop um, Geekbench into your application folder, and Geekbench will then be copied over to your applications folder. After that has finished, you can go to your applications folder, click on Geekbench, and it will open up. Let me just try it again quickly. Go to Applications and then open up Geekbench. Okay, there we go. And you will receive this window, and you can select the Later option, and you can run the CPU benchmark from here. Now while the benchmark is running, um, I would recommend that you register for a Geekbench account so that you can save all your benchmarks uh, from different systems to your account um, and it just makes it easier to compare the, per the, the performance um, between systems if you are going to run benchmarks on various systems.
there we go everybody after your CPU benchmark completes um, the Geekbench uh, browser will actually open up and then show you your single core score and your multi core score as well as what device you have um, like I stated earlier I've got a MacBook Pro 13 inch retina display um, the 2015 model and as you scroll down you can get all the various other system um, information um, and all the other various um, information you do need to make um, your conclusion if you do want specific details with regards to um, like CPU benchmarks between systems or even like system benchmarks um, but that is that basically everybody um, I'll, again as I said I would do recommend that you actually sign up for an account just to make it easier to store all your all your previous benchmarks especially if you are going to use them um, not on just one system but on multiple systems for example if you want the results to be carried over quite easily um, that can be done by signing up for a Geekbench account um, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel and please leave any suggestions in the comment section on what other videos you would like me to do regarding um, anything specific with like Mac OS or Mac based computers thank you very much for watching and have a great day cheers